In this video, I'm gonna give you a 2022 roofing industry overview. Lately, I have seen a lot of attacks on roofing contractors, on roofers, on the working class. People accusing roofers of too many problems in the roofing industry. I wanna show you what's happening in the roofing industry in 2022. I'm gonna give you an overview of all players, who we need, who we don't need, the biggest scams, the biggest alerts, and the biggest trends, both good and bad, all in one video. Here's the roofing <laughs> industry overview in the 70s. You have shingle manufacturers, you have roofers and homeowners. So pretty much shingle manufacturer used to sell directly to roofers. Roofers sell directly to the homeowners. Times has changed dramatically. Here's what's happening today. You still have shingle manufacturers. We have about seven, eight of them. It's pretty much a monopoly today. The thing about shingle manufacturers, they, they're united, they increase prices all together uh, every year. Last year, I think we have like seven, eight increases, price went up seven, eight percent. There's monopoly um, loss in place, but speculation is shingle manufacturers are the biggest monopoly in the industry. They make a lot of money more than ever uh, as of recent. Uh, they cannot even keep up with the demand. So they take advantage of the situation and they definitely use their power to sell. One of the things that changed, we're adding suppliers now. So today you cannot buy, roofers cannot buy directly from shingle manufacturers. They have to go through suppliers and suppliers are the biggest players in the industry. They make more money than shingle manufacturers, suppliers like ABC Supply, Beacon, a publicly traded company, SRS, then you have roofers who buys from suppliers. As a matter of fact, roofer cannot go to shingle manufacturer. No matter what kind of deals they have, no matter what buying power they have, manufacturers simply will not sell directly to roofer. Even if you buy directly from manufacturer truckloads, you still have to go through suppliers. There's a lot of politics here. When you become big player, 50, $100 million companies, they cannot go past suppliers. And as a matter of fact, I've, I've heard a lot of scandals, a lot of bullying happening on this level where roofers, big roofing companies trying to go to manufacturer and supplier and say, nope, I'm not gonna let you. And they leverage their relationship, their politics over shingle manufacturers and just name of the game. And now you have two arrows here. One to the homeowners retail and one homeowners insurance. So now we're adding homeowners retail and homeowners insurance. So back in the day, insurance, you could file the claims, obviously 60s and 70s, but today insurance claims are majority of the jobs out there. So insurance companies are one of the biggest players. You have insurance restoration industry and you have retail industry and the roofers kind of split too. Some do both, some do only uh, insurance claims and some do only retail. So this is kind of over you. Now I'm gonna enter a lot of players here to the mix. So it seems pretty easy, straightforward. If, if you're the homeowner and you have hurricane, hail, wind damage, you pretty much have insurance, right? You start the claim, the money goes to insurance and the insurance is supposed to pay a roofer. But here's the problem. Insurance companies also in business to make money. So there is a big conflict of interest of all kinds. Insurance companies supposed to be paying roofers to replace the roofs. But the reality is they're shorting claims by 30, 40%. So instead of paying $20,000 for the roofing job like they should, they're gonna pay $15,000. Well, roofers not gonna accept that payment. So they're gonna fight back. And this number, this is first big problem in the industry. This 30, 40% shorten of the claim is gonna create so much tension in the entire industry already created and gonna give birth to a lot of third and fourth parties roofers have to fight back. So they, they're gonna go after supplements. They're gonna pretty much bill insurance companies. Insurance companies say, well, you can use Xactimate, which is a huge software owned by insurance companies. It's pretty much a software that both roofers and insurance companies now are using to bill insurance company. The problem is even using Xactimate is still 30, 40% short. So now you need supplementers. 
people who actually learn how to do Xactimate. So those 30, 40% of claims are not missed and the roofers get what they deserve, enough profit and margins to actually repair the jobs and not go out of business every year. So insurance companies adding companies like Letteresses because they're in business to inspect roofs, but they're not gonna inspect the roof sometimes because you know it's too dangerous, it's too bulky, it's too, uh, you know, you have to climb the roof, you actually have to know what you're doing. How about we use Letteresses? Uh, programs just for insurance companies, companies like Metskies. Insurance companies have their roof repair programs where a uh, huge conflict of interest, pretty much insurance company is insuring your property and telling you that they're gonna pay out the claim, but now they wanna be in business and actually have company who works with them, sometimes owned by insurance company, who agrees to their price. They pretty much wanna save money everywhere they can and they wanna tell you what's fair. You get to pick the roofer who you trust to repair the roof, but the insurance company wants you to use their preferred contractor, their company. If you go to Material Shingle Warehouse website, it's actually owned by Matt Sky. So now insurance company goes even deeper. Now they want you to buy shingles from them. Xactimate will tell you how much shingles cost, but website like Material Shingle Warehouse will give you different price. So insurance companies say, well, yeah, you, you remember what I told you earlier, the price of shingles keeps going up. So let's say cost of shingles is $110 per square. Well, Material Warehouse gonna say, well, you can buy it on this website for $100. You can buy it directly. You have to have a claim from insurance company. And what it does, all of this part is they taxing roofers. So roofer now have to negotiate the price. Why do we need Metsky? Why do we need material shingle warehouse? Why do we need three more steps? Because every time there's one more step, someone is winning and someone is losing. You have I tell. What is I tell? Insurance company gonna argue that we can find this shingle. So oftentimes roofer goes to old uh, roof that they cannot find a shingle from the suppliers or shingle manufacturers, but insurance company who also have interest in ITEL and roofer will have to pay a couple hundred bucks for the report just to prove that no one makes that shingle. So all of this, all of this little bills, they seem like a little bills to the outsider, but 100 bucks here, 100 bucks here, 20, 30% here, you know, instead of being profitable and prosperous, instead of actually enjoying the business side, now we're adding all of these headaches only because someone is not doing what they're supposed to do. So this one right here is the biggest evil. It creates other mini evils. Now other companies are playing the game with the devil here. The reason is because they want people to keep buying their shingles. So now they're doing all the shady deals behind closed doors. I do believe that there's a price fixing in the industry. I don't believe that on the highest level, manufacturers don't talk to each other. They're the biggest winners, they're the biggest winners, and no one takes care of the roofer. No one cares of a little guy. So now roofers have to fight back. So from this side, we're getting attacked from all of these parties and we're overloaded. So how do we fight back? Well, we have public adjusters. We have lawyers, appraisal and umpire processes. We have marketers to advertise. We still have to find the jobs. And I have to have a supplementer on staff to, to help me bring my Xactimate estimate to what it is because I cannot afford to lose 30, 40% on every job. So profit margins of a roofer is actually less than profit margin of insurance company. Meanwhile, insurance companies are spending billions of dollars on advertising. They would spend $2 billion to be on TV and they would only spell, spend $5 billion on actually paying out claims. If they would only add one or two billion dollars that they spend on TV to actually do the claim, the problem would disappear. So first solution I offer, stop advertising, stop spending billions on advertising because your best advertising is actually paying out claims. Here's my worry. My worry is roofers will not sustain and many, many people I already see it. I see ex codus in the roofing industry of good guys. So many people throw towel and say, you know what, enough is enough. I'm done with this. 
I cannot take it no more. You know why? Because this is freaking too much. Suppliers could step up and say, you know what, we don't need this. Roofing manufacturers could say no to bullshit deals like this. We could shut down MedSky, Letter Assist, you know, Idle, all of the, so many players, so many steps we don't need. The, the faster and the, the closer we will come to this, the better we all will become. Shingle Manufacturing, my message to you is this. You call yourself a leader. You become the industry. You buy the biggest booth at every expo. Your messages on your websites that you want to help roofers. You want to help roofers? You know, you have a political and financial power to do that. Make some moves behind closed doors. Shut some doors. Stop increasing prices. Stop milking roofers. What are you going to do when roofers will start installing metal shingles and rubber shingles and say that they're enough with your bullshit and your politics and your price increases. What are you going to do then? What are you going to do without roofers? Insurance companies, what are you going to do without roofers? Nobody going to survive. The system will collapse without roofers. And I'm telling you right now, it's very, very close because roofers are about to have enough. And this is the time when the roofers start getting roofing industry back from manufacturers, from suppliers, you know, we are the biggest player. We are the hero, not insurance company, not people who have billions of dollars. We are the center of the roofing industry. Stop attacking us. Stop doing shady stuff behind closed doors. Guys, comment below. I need your help. Share it. Roofing Insights is here to serve all of you. If you have a story, if you want to, if you want to join us on a podcast, my studio is always open to anyone who is serious about the change and who are real about what's good for the industry and not for themselves. Comment below, like this video, subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys in the next video.